reading from Romans, chapter 4, verses 16 to 17. For this reason, it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham, for he is the father of all of us. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. In the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. A Reflection by Ward B. Ewing The God revealed in Jesus, bringing salvation to all who will accept it, is the same God revealed in Abraham, Moses, Isaiah, and Esther. The unique nature of Jesus will be seen as a unique revelation of the one God who is also revealed in many other places and ways. Salvation, then, is through the revelation and work of God. John 14 makes clear that Jesus and the Father are one, and can be known through other religions. How we understand the relationship between the God of Abraham and the God of Jesus has major implications regarding how we enter into religious dialogue with Jews, Muslims, and followers of other world religions. A Response Where do you wrestle with this text and this reflection? Let us pray. My faith, O God, is indeed shared by many who love you and call you by name. Amen.